Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to take a look back at the soft bodies again, and we have this little structure in here. And if you look inside of it, I have the side open. You can see I have these interior uh, structures. They're basically line segments, but they essentially end up acting as springs as a soft body object. So let me just run the animation real quick. You'll see what it does. And you can see, so it's they're actually holding it up back there, but since there's nothing here in the center, nothing gets held up on this side. This is a really powerful technique for being able to work. But the important thing to remember is when you're doing something like this, let me just add a new cube to the scene like this. I'll move it up. Give it a color. I have to always give it a color. You know how that goes, right? All right. So if I'm working with this cube, and I go into edit mode and if I just take one side of it, let's say these points over here so I just grab all these points here and I extrude them into Y, say EY and I move it out like that, maybe do it again EY and I move it out like that and then I just grab all the points and look and you can see on the inside there is nothing in there so there's no structure that would hold it up only these vertical pieces are going to act like these springs that, to be compressed when you create your soft body object all right, so let's try it a different way. Let's control Z that back here. Let's do something in advance. Let's do control R and loop cut and slide. Uh, let's see, let's loop cut and slide this way and add some structure like this and then grab this edge here only. So now I have this and we have these vertical structures set in place, right? So I'm going to press EY and extrude it along here, EY whoops, EY, do it like that, no, and then EY, like that. Notice what happened in there. In the one case, I actually got the structure in there. In the other case, I did not, all right? So what I had done, let me see, E, Z, Z, Z. So there they are like that. If I just do EY and bring it out, and then do EY and bring it out, it doesn't exist, all right? So if I do, but if I do EY and then I just press Y like this, okay, and then and then from there EY and press Y and then EY click press Y. Now as I'm doing it, I'm actually building a structure on the inside at the same time. You can see the whole thing. So now I'm actually building it on the inside. And the alternative way is you can always just go in. If, if you don't do it, I could just grab this outside edge like this here. So I grab these. I didn't want, nope, almost. All right. So EY, I move it out E. Whoops, I did it again. EY move like that. So in this case I didn't press Y a second time. Now I'm not actually sure why pressing Y a second time actually ends up giving you the vertices but I know it does. But if, you, if you're in a situation where you need to create your own you can just come into here and grab any two points. I could grab say this point and let me see now I'll grab this point and I'll shift select that point. It should be the point below it and then I can just press F and then that'll actually, instead of creating a face, since I'm in vertex mode like that, it'll just create a line segment. And so then when you go in and create your vertex group in here, and maybe I'll just set it 0.3 like I did on a previous version. So there it is set. Then only the one, so then everything with the line segments in between will now act like springs as well, kind of like I did in here. All right. So, but you have to press that Y a second time. I don't know why you have to do it, <laughs> but you have to do it. All right. All right. Well, that's for now, and I'll see you in the next lesson.